Okay, so I was right about Roy, but I wasn't right about Zelda. Ooh, Palu, okay. Yeah. I know that Sardo does have a, a pocket Palu. Um, so I'm not in, I'm not terribly surprised. I can definitely understand like wanting this character over Zelda for this matchup because Roy is so fast and he just kind of like stays on your ass. Yeah. It's also annoying because if you're Zelda and you get tech chase, you're dead. The side B just goes so early versus lightweight. It's like it's ridiculous. <laughs> That was a weird, uh, that was a weird explosive flame, but it worked out just because he got, like, the final few hits. Oh, no. Did you just, like, completely miss the ledge from recovering? Unfortunately. Catching him with the, uh, explosive flame? Uh, I, I, that that star KO, one of the most intense ones I've ever heard. Yep. All right. So, uh, even though Tom was able to get the first kill, uh, wasn't able to amount too much. Uh, Sardo was able to take the second, uh, return in kind, without getting too much of a deficit. Uh. Uh oh. Ooh. Cross slash. Alright, sweet spot. Oh, it keeps up being half ledge. That's really dangerous versus Roy. Interesting tech chase. Doesn't quite get the right hit. Okay. Mm hmm. Catching the teleport. He's been catching a lot of teleports this game. Maybe he started out being a little bit too frivolous with him. But, uh, you know. Regardless, keeping it very competitive still. Uh, right now, Tom has kind of had the, uh, like, taken the lead in, in the sense of, like, he'll take the stock first. So, like, Sardo needs to break up that rhythm, that progression. Uh, because if he takes this next stock, he'll win the game. Boom. All right. Oh, wow. Ooh. Just, everything just comes together, like, the way... I I want to see uh, Roy, like, if you see Palu, like, run away from the ledge like that, you know that she's going to go for Explosive Flame. So, like, you know, keep an eye on, like, the spacing that she's going for so you can try and recover low to avoid getting clipped. Ooh. And also, if Palu, like, just throws that Explosive Flame in neutral, like, you can typically just dash yeah. forward and go for your hard punish. If you really wanted to, you could just dash forward, F smash, and then just kill Palu at like 60. If you really wanted to. Alright, good DI. Yeah, he was DIing all those down throws in before, so he was getting hit by the back here. You always want to DI away. That follow up is really, really dangerous. Down tilt pressure. Good. Staying in shield. Knowing the explosive flame hit him. Mm, I don't know if that OP was worth the risk. Certainly didn't get the, the reward. Really? That was a good jump. Oh, fierce battle, you say? All right, Roy. Jump, and yep. I feel like if he just doesn't mess up his recoveries, he should be fine. Because a lot of his... I think I think all three of his stocks were basically just missed recoveries. 
with the exception of I guess last stock, but like the first two stocks were basically just missed recoveries. Mm-hmm. I think we might be seeing the Zelda. We're definitely, I, we're definitely seeing a, a, a stage pick because uh, a stage change because they both left the arena. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, Zelda. Mm, I mean, if you're confident, I guess. But I don't know. I thought the Pally was doing well. Well, if he was able to take it to last stock uh, with Palu and he felt like the way things were going, uh, that he can probably edge just a little bit more with uh, Zelda, then, you know, we'll see how that goes, especially with the counterpick stage on Kalos. So... You know, larger blast zones. Although, honestly, like, at least in my opinion, I, I feel like Roy doesn't care too much about the blast zones. So, may this might just be, like, the stage layout preference. Yeah, certainly. And you know what? Spe speaking of, like, Zelda play, I'm looking at the damage. Ugh. And seems to be keeping up pretty well. Um, that said, that would be a little bit risky. Um, uh, All right. See, it's it's that it's those kinds of reads or like uh, things you go in like when you're more comfortable with your main. So maybe he saw something like while he was fighting him as Palo game one, and it was just like I think I might be able to just like stuff you. I just need the better. All right, Tom, uh, sick dono. <laughs> um, sure. So here we are, uh, full stock lead for Sardo. Uh, all it was all him, you know. <laughs> Great, uh, great pressure, great fear uh, instilled in Tom to his very core. <laughs> just intimidating Tom into just SD. Yep, just deer con the headlights. Jesus, take the wheel. Okay, but right, nice. honestly, Tom, if he had this stock, like, he'd be working on a really strong lead. Because we're about to see that Dono matter to nothing. Here, Mike, please. And, uh, yeah, so now, so, like, right. super even percent. It's always my mic. Sorry. Just really intense. That was really good movement. Also, the overcommitment with the F smash rather than just going for F tilt just made it 10 times more satisfactory. Alright, nice upper near string. Yeah, I don't know. Every, every time you just catch a Zelda in the air, you just get so much damage. <laughs> the dono never happened, that's right. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! Uh oh! Tom was building up a pretty strong lead there, but then Sardo got some really hefty hits in. Edgeguard situation. Oh, all right. That's hard. That's anytime you see teleport recoveries where they have to like hold down to go past the ledge without you know killing themselves. I'm always like, damn. Nice double grab by Tom. Uh, you know, Casper the ghost trying to double team, but he ain't. He sees right through that. Ooh. All right. Kalos oh, coming in clutch. The extra high blast zone saving him. Caught his jump with that up and that would have definitely been the stock on another stage. Oh, and that's, oh, nice. here we go, game two. We're going to game three. Wow. That was terrifying. Yeah, speaking of terrifying, that, that ledge trap there. Yeah, it's just like, as soon as you see the Phantom Knight, you don't want to ledge get up, you don't want to roll, you just want to like jump and get out of there. But Got I think the mistake here was Tom jumped too much forward like he could have just jumped onto the platform and would have been safe but yeah. instead he took advantage of that he died I, I feel like you know you try to go in on the night and uh so you you go in and that's where the setup is for her up air but like also bro air dodge just air dodge please moving your mic around Dude, I, you know what i'm gonna switch to my computer if that's the case i don't want to <laughs> cause any more problems <laughs> Cause I'm I'm really not honestly like I'm trying my best to like avoid movement like I'm, I'm what mic I'm are you frozen. using? <laughs> it's just my iPhone mic. Like 
Like in the phone itself or the wire? Like uh, in, in the phone itself. Yeah, I don't know. Like stop. Uh, I don't know. Are you holding it or? I, I mean, I am, but I'm I'm frozen in place. You know what? I'm switching to my computer. I don't want to cause issues. <laughs> I'm, I'm here to give informal commentary. And he's going to back to Palu for game three. <laughs> what? I mean, I don't know. You know what? That did get a little bit too close for comfort. So maybe he, you know the confidence that he had going into game two as Zelda had been washed away by being like, "Wow, I almost died." You know what? I did have a close game with Palu. Let's just try that again. Also, the fact that I think Tom just counterpicking right on back to town, kind of showing that like, it's like you know what? Uh, I'll just you know we'll just reload uh, game one dot data and uh, see what we can change to edge out that victory. Yeah, I mean, Tom almost lost game one, so it's like, should be fine. Uh, yeah, you can stop DI'ing in on that down throw. Because if you do that, it's just a free back air. Yeah, she, she's like, thank you. <laughs> Slam dunk. Ooh. <laughs> All right, Sardo now with the first stock taken. Uh, this is a pretty good lead. Oh, but Tom not having any of that and going to be returning kind. They get much off of it. Whoa. I take it you're on your PC now. Please don't tell me there's another audio issue. Oh no, you just sound different. So I have to oh, balance. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, anyway. I, re I Tom really don't want to cut issues. Yeah. Oh, anyway, Tom now with a full stock lead. Um, Sardo, like, work is definitely cut out for them. Oh, but catching the roll on the wake up. Gonna do just that. Now we're on a super, uh, super even game. You know, uh, Sardo took the first stock, but then Tom was able to like completely reverse the momentum, evening it out, and then taking the stock lead himself. So it's now up to Sardo to kind of do the same thing. I like the beer versus movement from Tom. Like beer versus neutral B, beer versus side B. Just like navigating around. Mm -hmm. A lot of Sardo's hits. Oh no! You don't want. Ah, uh, that's a shame. That was, a fierce that was a fierce battle until the very end. All right. Oh, that's over. Let me just test this. Testing one two three. How was that? I mean, I'm it, being serious. It is so far all right, but yeah. <laughs> Comparatively speaking, if my iPhone was like a five in audio, where would you rate this audio out of ten? If your iPhone was a five, I mean, if, if, if there's there's if like the iPhone was, a... yes. Hmm. I would have to say because like the quality of your voice is actually a little bit worse. But like, if there's not any like, uh, you know that that's always a huge plus. <laughs> so, you know, the sum of all the parts. If that's a five, then this is still like a seven or something. Here, oh, how about so, this? Watch this. Oh man, you guys ready? He's gonna turn our RTX right. voice on. This is the iPhone. How's this? Whoa. Uh, is I need a little bit more of a sound. 